Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. It's more powerful than an atomic bomb. Managing finances is an ongoing and long-term process. Don't think about managing finances today and you can be rich tomorrow. But if we can hold on, the effect of compound interest will gradually emerge and become more pronounced. Today, we're going to talk about what is compound interest. And before I share what compound interest is, let me get you to think about it. Let's say there's a job. There are two different types of payment to choose from. One way is to give you $100,000 a day and you'll get $3 million in a month. The other one is also distributed on a daily basis. But the difference is on the first day you will only get a cent. Then the payment on the next day is twice as much as the previous day. By analogy, which one would you choose? Some of you might say 100,000 a day and a penny a day. That's a big difference. Of course, the choice of 100,000 a day will be more attractive. However, try to calculate your payment using the second method. You will be surprised. One cent on the first day, two cents on the next day, four cents on the third day, eight cents on the fourth day. At the end of this month, the payment has reached $5,368,709.12. Yes, that's how much you can earn. That's the power of compound interest. Compound interest is money rolling over money. Take the interest and the capital from the previous round as the capital for the next round. Let's say my capital from the previous round was 1,000. The interest I get is 100. By the effect of compound interest, the capital for this current round is 1,100. I'm going to share the three factors that affect compound interest. Firstly, investment and financial management should be early. The first strike is strong, one step ahead, ahead of the others, which is trying to say, everything has to get started as soon as possible. Here are two examples. Jack and May. Jack has a rich dad. Instilled the concept of investment and financial management to him from an early age. So, Jack started investing when he was 